In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the study spreadsheet, which I've been using since year 13 and all the way through Cambridge. You can download it for free using the link in the description and keep watching if you want to see how I use it. Okay, so here is my study spreadsheet. There's a lot of stuff here, um, but it's pretty simple essentially. You just put down what time it is, 12.51, which is when you're starting. And then here you've got your work, break, work, break, etc. sessions. You can choose to relabel the things or put lunch or specific subject if you want. And what you do is here, for example, you study for 25 minutes, which will be completed by 1.16. And once you've completed that, you put a tick and then you'll take a break for, in this case, five minutes and put a tick. And that's all you'll do as much as you want. You can choose to fill out more boxes if you want, if you want to study for longer or if you want to study for less time, you can just delete these boxes. Note that you can't use backspace to delete the boxes. You have to press the delete button. To make sure that I keep to the 25 minutes and five minutes, I use a timer. Usually I make sure that the timers are a bit less than what it's meant to be. So 25 minutes, I put 24, five minutes, I put four and a half minutes. So this gives me a bit of time to kind of change between break and study session. So back here, it tells you what time you're starting, which is what you put in, and it tells you what time you're predicted to finish if you do all the stuff that you've put down here. So if you look here, whilst I add stuff, you'll see that it updates. What it also shows you is the total amount of time you'll have spent using the spreadsheet, the amount of time you'll have spent working, the amount of time you'll have spent breaking, and the percentage of time you've spent working. Let's say you don't want to do 25 minute study and a five minute break, but you want to do your own version. To change it, all you have to do is go to the right of the spreadsheet, go here and type in, let's say 30 and 10. And here you'd copy this as a template and then paste it here. Make sure you paste the values and not the formulae because that will mess up the spreadsheet. But anyway, that's how I use my spreadsheet. Feel free to change it however you want and thanks for watching.